uh, if you had asked me a few years back and you had come here to see this, you would have seen a big foggy a cloud of air coming out there. Uh, it was a mist and the neighbors on the other side of the street, uh, they complained because uh, it was fog all over the street. And that fog was the excessive heat which uh, meet the cold air outside. Nowadays it's November and I can still stand in the church, so it's not so extremely cold as you could. There is no ice bears on, on the street, for instance, but okay. Uh, later in January, February, it will be snow and very colder. Uh, and what do you do with all this excessive heat? Do you ventilate it out or do you use it for heating up the apartments? The answer is quite simple. You ventilate out the apartments. What we do is we take the energy from the data center and then we put on some... Uh, it's a normal... Uh, uh, process where we add some energy to heat it up a little more and what we put in 28 degrees and we get out about 70 degrees of hot water coming out at the other end. So this is the, the raw model to work together with a utility company. So it will be a lot of noise in here but I will I will show the hot side and the cold side and we will see the pumps uh, and they make as you will hear noise. This is uh, heating and this is uh, where it goes out. So you will see, come here. the core of the system and it's it's a constantly monitor uh, and uh, we use all energy uh, and we add energy a little energy extra and then it gets uh, economy is better. The cold water comes in here. The cold water comes in here. And then what comes back? This is all the energy coming back. And this, this line goes out to the apartments. So it takes about 500 apartments and it comes from there is because if you can fit this around this one is about 70 degrees uh, Celsius in heat. Basically, I think that, that that is everything to talk about that. Uh, okay.